Hi, I'm Gary Ward, author of What the Foot and creator of Anatomy in Motion, and I'm actually really honoured uh, to be invited by Dr. Emily Splickle to speak at her um, Barefoot Strong Summit in January in the UK. Um, that's her global mentorship, and it's all about feet, fascia, and functional movement. Now, I thought about this, and I thought about how everybody will be having their own interpretation on those three subjects. So, what I would like to do is to talk about the seamless link between feet, fascia, and functional movement. And for me, for those of you who know me, uh, while I'm a big foot guy, I'm also a big whole body uh, movement guy. So. The thing that ties all of that together is actually gait, um, and that's where I think our speciality lies. <clears throat> so, if every footstep takes place over a duration of 0.6 to 0.8 seconds that we get from force plate data, we know that every single joint must move to both end ranges, flexion, extension, internal rotation, external rotation, in all three dimensions, in that period of time. That is a hell of a lot of movement. Wouldn't it be lovely to be able to track it? Wouldn't it be lovely to follow it? Wouldn't it be nice to know how our feet influenced those 0.6 to 0.8 seconds? Wouldn't it be nice to know how our fascia responded to that movement in 0.6 to 0.8 seconds? Um, and then if you want to talk about functional movement, then gait is really the most functional way that we can move and we know that our joints move in a specific way that we've ground down over millennia to make gait actually possible. And a big part of my work, and what I'll be talking about on the day, is how we can influence and experience those movements in our own bodies um, so that we can get a better sense of how our feet, fascia, and functional movement come together. <laughs>